am back with the potato chip bag that I did my fine line drawing on. You're going to have a little bit of a hard time seeing this because it is during the daytime now and I've got light coming in from my window. On this one I'm going to do another project really fast to show you something else you can do on this. I do want to say one thing to you. The paint on here, especially these little dots, if they are not sealed, can chip off. Not all of them. It, it seems like when they get really thick. For the most part, see I, I rubbed off a part there. That's okay. That's all right. This is, this is really just made from the back of a potato chip bag. What I'm going to do with this is some more fun and show you something else that you can do. Most of the people that are in scrapbooking and the mixed media arts and, and in the art world know what washi tape is. This is some tissue paper tape that I got on sale, of course. And this just this is printed tissue paper tape. If I can even get it started here. Just like that. Well, in our mixed media world, a lot of artists make their own washi tape. And that's what I'm going to do with this. I also want to say one more thing. The idea of using a potato chip bag really is not my original idea. I don't want to claim the credit glory for that. Uh, my swap partner in this swap that I participated in also sent me her page that was an envelope was made out of a potato chip bag. She folded it like this and stitched around the corners and put a label on it. She did not paint the back of it with a fine liner like I did. But I don't want to say, oh, this is my original idea, because it certainly isn't. I, I was inspired by her envelope. Now here's what I'm going to do to make my washi tape. It's going to be fast and simple. I have my Xyron Creative Station. And I'll put it here. This one I've had for a couple of years. This is, this is uh, one that I use all the time and it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big to go in there. I'm going to trim off the edges here. It holds nine inches so I'm going to fold this like this and like this and like this for a fast fold. Yes, we're not too particular about cuts here. I'm just going to cut off a a half maybe a little bit more off of the edge here and see it looks like it's probably even gonna have a good inch off here okay all right kind of curved in there but that's all right this is just fun we're having with it let's send this through let's send this through the Xyron machine. Hopefully I have enough left in my cartridge to do the whole thing. And I believe I do. This is a Xyron. It's called a Creative Station. You can get these in the longer 9 inch version, you can get them in like a 5 inch version, and you get them in your little, they come in a little X shaped 1 inch version. I'm going to use my brayer just to, on the back of this to make sure that the sticky Xyron gets on the back of the potato chip bag. This is something you want to do if you send your work through a Xyron just to further seal it.
Okay. Now I know how shiny that is. Now let's peel the let's peel the sticker portion off. Oh yeah. Now the question is, do I want to cut it in strips this way or do I want to cut it in long strips? I like the idea of cutting it in long strips. Hey, I'm set up here. You're still going to see the shine off of this page. Sorry about that. That's just the light, the daylight reflecting off of my window. I am going to cut this lengthwise, I believe. And I'm just not going to try to be too perfect about it. Let's cut these off first. Yes. And let's cut right about here. I'll have some fairly crooked ends. I'll probably keep those for myself. washi tape out of a potato chip bag. Let's, these are going to go in, I'm going to put these in a little, on a little tag. I have this page that I made in one of my Love Summer Art videos, just again playing around with the fine liner in here. This is the back of it. Let's take a piece of this washi tape and put it on there just for fun. Just Now you probably will need to cut. This is not a washi tape that can be torn. This is a pretty strong, it's a plastic. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this one right here. And then since I run it through the Xyron machine, it can be peeled off of the back of the Xyron and put on my page like that. Let's do some more of this scrap. Let's put some more on. Can I lift this up again? This Xyron once tape, once it's down, it's pretty much down, but I think I can pick this up. And let's put it down here. And see, you can peel some of this off. Some of this peeled off. All of it peeled off. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. It's not sealed. Let's take this strip and seal it. I have some golden matte medium. Let's let's see what how it affects the shiny of the potato chip bag. I have a feeling that it will, but maybe if we put a thin coat on. I'm gonna let this set for a bit and then come back and see if sealing it helped it. Okay, I am back. And my matte medium has dried on this. I am pretty happy with this. You can tell there is a matte medium on that. And I just smeared it on with my fingers. So there is, you can see some strokes in here. But I'm really not too unhappy with this. Now it's not bright and shiny like this, but you do see 
some of the silver showing through. this up a little with some alcohol inks yes oh do I like this of after the fact as I think about it but if you do this you probably want to seal your pages with matte medium before you cut them down this is just me experimenting being the mad scientist with things that I would probably normally toss out in the trash but I just like to learn new things along the way so I'm putting a layer of matte medium on my strips to seal them and then I'm going to put some alcohol ink on top of the matte medium to take away from the matte. It, it dulls that shiny bag and we're just going to put some color back on the strips here. dry and then I will be back my little washi strips are all dry I used matte medium on them and then I put alcohol ink over that they're not quite as shiny but you can still see the silvery behind them and I'm really happy with them here's the back of the page that I did where I put my washi strips on there just to experiment. This is a page that I did in another video. Yes, I'm happy with that. I have my little fine line fun sample strips here. I'm going to take this one and put on it just to show you that these are washi strips and that matte medium holds it down enough that it won't chip the paint off so I'm going to put this in my little fine line book of examples that's growing thicker by the day Now I want to put these on some tags for my book. Okay, these are going to go inside of my little junk pages. I'm going to go ahead and 
put these together and I will be back. I am all finished here. I made some little washi strip pieces to put in my junk journal pages that I'm going to be sending to my swap partners. You saw in my prior video where I made this page of fine liner fun on the back of a chip bag, a potato chip bag. I did find that parts of this bag tend to chip off because this is plastic. So what I did is I took some matte medium and I put across my page. This one, this one is not finished, but I covered this whole page with matte medium. And then I put alcohol ink on top of that. Now it will dull the shiny silver somewhat. So that's just a decision you're going to have to make for whatever project you're doing if you use this method. I do not mind this at all. I really like the alcohol ink over this. And the fact that I put the matte medium on there just stabilizes everything. I took my entire sheet and cut it into strips. I put it on the back of a um, Xyron machine. I have a creative station, Xyron sticker maker. And I ran that through my Xyron machine and made washi tape by running it through my Xyron machine. I wrapped that around. I have the back of a sticker sheet that I had gotten. I tore it into strips and wrapped my little washi tape around those little torn sheets. I will take be taking one of these and put it on the inside of one of the junk journal pages. I'll probably just staple it right here. So they'll have some washi tape made out of a potato chip bag and decorated with my fine liner. How fun is that? So this has been a really fun project. On this one I just took this leftover strips of washi tape and put them on the back of an art journal page. So this will be a keeper for myself. I also put a strip in this little book that I'm making of my fine line fun experiments. So it's a fun way to make some washi tape using the fine liner. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.